Hi there, we are here with you today with a very interesting video about Kankitsuna Bunda. I love the precision of the cut and more than this, actually today it was also the my plus the precision because on this case we have a Shidushi Joran Augusto as um, a symbol, a sign of his trust on his teachings uh, with us. Yes, he gave us the opportunity to actually apply those cuts very close to his body. So that's a incredible um, proof of trust by uh, his side. And we have here some of the objects that we've cut today. So, Christian, if you have the pleasure to explain to them. Thank you very much, Juliana. Well, today we have uh, performed uh, several kinds uh, of, of cuts. The first one we have performed on, uh, on here, on this very table, that we need to cut on a, a, on a Gyaku Kesanuki or an Agenuki. And the key here when we are performing this kind of, uh, of test is the importance that the cut needs to be uh, plain. completely plain. It cannot be like a curve or it could be uh, taking out uh, uh, splitting several parts of material. It needs to be uh, uh, very accurate and it cannot be uh, without uh, precision because the proof at the end it's a precision proof. Then as you could see we have a perfect cut because if we join together we cannot we cannot uh, perceive that this is uh, any any part is missing. Yeah, any any like part is missing. It's completely perfect the cut. Okay. This is for for this. We have also performed on a kiriotoshi perform on a banana. We could have here. Take a look that if we join both of them, we have a perfect a perfect cut. Then. You could see that this is so accurate that you could see it's like uh, if we could perform like a knife, but in this case has been the position of being cut in a in this case on a kiriotos line. And after here we have done with a kesagiri on this here we have a perfect cut. You could see that uh, the sole the blade has been entering by this side and has cut on a diagonal line here. We also have performed this kind of cut, Shido Juliana, on a banana that we could see that it's sorry, but it's perfect. Perfect cut. Sorry. To show you. Here. And after that we have a perfect cut that you could see that it's uh, uh, is plain uh, as perfect. That's the Shinken actually that we've used. So it was uh, a cut with the Kisaki and also with the, the pot near the Kisaki, depending on the vegetable or the fruit that we were using. So that was the Shinken that we've used. And in our tradition, uh, what Shidoshi Jordan has done is actually what a master would do with their trustable students, uh, like um, exposing themselves to a risky. Uh, situations uh, risky in, in a way that we say because the mai is really close but uh, of course as it's a shinken sometimes they put something just to protect the kimono because if an error is occurs that it shouldn't but then it will really cut the person or the arm depending on the angle that you're cutting and that's the way that they the old ancient masters used to do when they want to show the other masters that they trust uh, their lives on the precision and, and uh, the knowledge of the, the future generation that he had the pleasure to teach. Thank you very much and see you in other videos.